I recently got an email from a viewer that asked us to cover Dolma. What exactly is it? So that is exactly what we are going to do on today's WTF. Today's sponsor is the Mastika Shop, and you can check them out online at mastikashopny.com. The Mastika Shop is a shop in New York City and also on the web that sells a bunch of products that have Hios Mastika in them. Now, Mastika is a resin that comes out of a specific tree in this specific island inside of the Aegean Sea off the coast of Greece. It's something that you can only get there, and they basically turn this sap into a natural chewing gum and also use it in a bunch of other food products. It is believed to have medicinal properties, anti-inflammatory properties, and be downright delicious. Check them out online at mestheashopny.com. Check out their products, and we will cover Mestia in a future episode of WTF. So today we are talking about dolma, and before I go any further or even touch the topic, I have to say that there's a little bit of controversy and confusion around it in general. Here in the States, it is common to serve dolma at Greek restaurants, and traditionally when you order dolma, you're going to be getting a combination of rice, sometimes with some herbs, sometimes with meat, kind of all formed together into a little log and rolled up inside of a grape leaf. They are usually steamed and they are either served warm or cold with some sort of dipping sauce, something like yogurt. When we dig a little deeper, we get to talk about semantics, and that is where the real controversy comes in. You see, the word dolma is a noun of the word dolmak, which is a Turkish word which means to stuff. The only problem with dolma that we've had today in the United States that I'm talking about is that it's not stuffed. It's rolled up like a cigar. However, all throughout the Mediterranean, dolma is prepared different ways, and sometimes you'll just see the ingredients stuffed inside of a piece of vegetable that is also cooked, sometimes it's steamed, sometimes it is roasted, so it is not always rolled up in grape leaves. I think that the real truth here is that the idea of dolma has been passed around to many different regions and they all have applied their own traditions to the dish, which has caused it to morph into different shapes. Regardless of the shape or the way that your dolma is stuffed, they're basically always very, very tasty and worth trying and worth trying to make. So today we are going to take a stab at making vegetarian dolma, which is going to be made out of grape leaves with some rice and a bunch of different dried fruits and spices. It was not super hard to make, but it was wildly tasty. Let's get started. In a heavy bottom pan over medium heat, add some olive oil and a chopped up white onion. Let this start to sweat out for a few moments, then add about one cup of long grain white rice. Cook this in the oil and the onions for a few moments, then add about one and a half cups of water. Cover and let simmer for about 15 minutes. Then add about a third of a cup of currants, pine nuts, some cinnamon, some dried up mint, salt to taste, some ground black pepper, and the juice from a lemon. Now it's time to construct your dolma. Take your grape leaves out of the jar and rinse them very thoroughly under cool water. Lay out one grape leaf on a cutting board and put about a spoonful of your rice mixture right in the center. Fold the left and the right leaves in, then starting at the bottom, roll the leaf up so it seals itself into a nice little cigar-like shape. Then line the bottom of a steaming tray with some more dolma leaves and line up all of your dolma inside. If you have an overflow of dolma, you can just stack them up. They don't need to all be on one layer. Cover it and let it steam for about 30 to 45 minutes or until the rice has absorbed all of the liquid. You can eat them right away or you can pop them in your chill chest for about an hour to cool down in temperature, then eat them with a salad or just snack on them as is dipped in some yogurt. Tune in tomorrow for another What's This Food? Check out our sponsor, MasticaShopNY.com. If you have something you want us to cover, you can post it in the comments below or drop me an email, hello at DanielDelaney.com. See you tomorrow.